everyone, today we will be making the Grace Pinafore. Life does not come more comfortable than this pinny. Loose fitting in a nice structured denim or corduroy, it exudes a relaxed and flattering look to the world. With or without pockets, easily adjustable straps, this beginner level construction makes it fun to make and more fun to wear. No decisions needed, just over a t-shirt will do. This style has cute pocket detail, adjustable length with the buttonholes and you have the option to sew French seams or a simple overlock finish internally. Enjoy these step by step instructions and have fun. What do you need for the grey style? Your pattern and booklet purchased, your choice of fabric, we recommend corduroy, heavyweight jacquard, woolen jacquard, medium weight denim non stretch, cotton canvas, heavyweight satin, medium weight velvet or a heavyweight cotton satin. Please allow extra fabric to match plaids or stripes. Lightweight fabric fusing, also known as interfacing, 0.5 meters. Disappearing pen or marker. Four matching or contrast buttons, could be plastic, metal or decorative. Hand needles, your choice of scissors, fabric cutting shears, paper shears and pinking shears. Sewing thread, matching the base color on the right side of your fabric. If you are using an overlocker today, you will need four more threads and you will need to thread for your bobbin or shuttle. Tape measure, optional pattern weights and your glossary terminology booklet. We also offer bundles which include your choice of fabric, lightweight fabric fusing also known as interfacing 0.5 meters, sewing thread matching the base color on the right side of your chosen fabric and four matching or contrast buttons. Before you cut your fabric please refer to the chart on your pattern sheet. Each size has a different cut line. Then cut your paper pattern pieces out. Fabric preparation. Check your iron heat on a scrap piece of fabric. Always press fabric before cutting. Some fabrications can shrink. It is important to follow the grain line stated on your pattern. When cutting, you can either trace around your pattern pieces or pin onto the fabric. Make sure you snip your notches and mark darts within the seam allowance if needed. If fabric is slippery to cut, it is useful to add an additional layer of paper underneath the fabric. Cutting your garment. Firstly, we suggest you refer to the lay plans provided in the booklet. Depending on the size you cut today will depend on the amount of fabric needed. Fold your fabric in half. Make sure your salvages align the edge of your cutting table. Next, place your pattern pieces on the fabric according to the lay plan provided. It is important to read the instructions on the pattern pieces as some do require to be cut on the fold and we suggest that these are placed on the lay plan first. Ensure all grain lines are being followed. We advise you measure the grain line distance between the pattern and the selvage to ensure that the straight grain is consistent throughout all pieces. Then pin your pattern pieces down and cut. Some of your pieces may require fusing. This will be stated on the pattern as block fuse. Cut these separately and then apply to the fabric by using the iron. Make sure you snip your notches and mark darts within the seam allowance if needed. Step one. Firstly, overlock the top edge of the pockets and the facing ends. Attach the facing panels together, so wrong side up 1cm seam allowance. Press the seams open. Remember to trim any loose threads. Step 2. Overlock the top edge of the facing. Step 3. Fold the top edge of the pocket as marked on the pattern and press lightly. 
stitch 2mm down from the top edge to secure the facing down. Step 4. Then stitch 5mm down from your 2mm stitch line to secure the facing down. Turn the remaining pocket edges in by 1cm and hand tack all edges down except from the top. Step 5. Alternatively, you can pin into place. Step 6. Gently press. Now use your disappearing pen to mark the position of the pocket onto the front panel of your garment. Now pin the pocket into place. We advise you measure to check the distance from edge to edge is equal. Step 7. Edge stitch 2mm in on your pocket down starting from the top edge. Step 8. Remove hand tacks and pins from the pocket. Now stitch a second row 0.5cm in from your first stitch line. Step 9. Repeat this process for your back pockets too. Now French seam your back panels together. French seam your side seams to attach the front and back panels together. Step 10. Press the centre back seam to the left, press the side seams to the centre back. Step 11. Now turn your hem up by 1cm, hand tack down and press. Turn the hem again by 2cm and pin down. Stitch 2mm in from the folded edge. Remove hand tacks, pins and press gently. Step 12. Ensure you trim any loose threads. Step 13. Now fold your straps right sides of the fabric together. Sew across the straight edge wrong side up. Do not sew the bottom edge. Step 14. Trim the corners out to prevent bulk. Press the seam open. Use a point turner to push the corner to ensure it is a right angle. Using a knitting needle, pull the strap free to the right side and pull out the corners. Step 15. Press the straps flat. Step 16. Now attach the straps to the back of the garment onto the outer where indicated. Pin into place and stitch 5mm in from the edge. Please ensure the folded edge of the strap is placed in the centre before attaching. Then attach the front facing to the dress across the top. Stitch wrong side up 1cm seam allowance. Step 17. Overlock the top edge of the facing. Step 18. Turn the facing back on itself and stitch 2mm top stitch in from the folded edge on the right side up. Step 19. Fold the facing back again with the right sides touching and continue 1cm seam allowance stitch around the facing to attach to the garment. Repeat the process for the back facing. Step 20. Please ensure the straps are trapped between the outer and the facing. Step 21. Overlock all around the seam and trim excess off the top edge at the front.
Pull the facing back so it sits inside the garment. Push the corners out. Then hand tack the facing to the side seams inside the garment to prevent movement. Step 22. Press lightly. Step 23. Now the straps are attached, stitching 2mm from the edge where applied through all layers of the strap to create strength. Step 24. On the front of the garment, mark the position of the buttonhole with the disappearing pen. Now change your foot to buttonhole part. Firstly, pull the black lever inside your machine down. Then attach your buttonhole machine part. Then change your machine setting to the correct number for buttonhole. Make two buttonholes on each side. Each buttonhole should be one millimetre bigger than the chosen button. Once complete, then open your buttonholes by trimming with scissors. Step 25. We suggest you practice buttonholes on a scrap fabric first. Step 26. On the strap ends, mark the position for the button with the disappearing pen. Hand sew the buttons on. Step 27. Now give your garment a final press. You have now finished the grey stress.